right, so I hope you brought your thinking caps today because we're going to try something new. Still a pretty simple uh, 60 seconds on, 30 seconds off. The, 30, the 60 seconds is going to be broken up into 30 seconds each side. So sounds like a ton, but it's, it's really, uh, we're just going to switch sides halfway through. So 60 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Uh, we're going to try one new movement. So while you're rolling out here, go ahead and uh, start, start rolling out. I'm going to explain this move. Uh, it's kind of combining a few different things. Uh, so uh, this is called a hero lunge. Can you guys go? All right. So the kettlebell is going to start at your feet here. So again, we're just rolling out. I'm going to demonstrate this while you guys are doing that. Um, so it's kind of like a, like a turn, like just turning your heel out right and rotating your hips so whatever side the kettlebell is on you're going to kind of rotate out so we're kind of taking a knee here like this and we pull the weight up to your shoulder and from there you the rest you know is just a stepping forward and pressing up so those aren't new movements but the one new thing is this turn and down to the floor um, so that's called a hero that's called a hero clean a clean is when you pull it from the floor up to your shoulder. If you have a dumbbell, that works too. So you're just gonna, you can just probably hold the dumbbell and go down towards the floor and then pull it up to your shoulder, step forward and shoulder press. So with that one, one foot's gonna stay glued to the ground for the whole 30 seconds. So if you get confused as to which side does what, right? So if you're here, kind of turning into that knee, coming up, step forward, And we just go through reps just like that. Okay, so lots of muscles involved there. We're doing things today that require you to use a lot of different muscles. Um, so your heart rate will probably come way up. Okay, so that's the Hero Clean. Um, again, you're just rolling out as we're talking here. Uh, we'll do 30 seconds each side there. Stride, diagonal press stride is like a position like you just took a step. So it's one foot forward. Okay, so whatever foot is forward, you're gonna be up on that side. So we down on this side, on the foot that's back, and we come up and across. So think of it as, you know, if you had this and you were gonna to try to throw it up over the wall, to throw a, a weight up over the wall. We turn and press, turn and press. If you have a dumbbell, you'll just hold on to each side. Just hold on to the dumbbell like this and push across your body. Um, actually, dumbbell works a little bit better for that one, but depends on what you got. Um, lateral lunge and row. So these are just, it's just combining two things we already know. So we're going to, if you're holding the kettlebell or, or weight in your left hand, step out to your right, row it up, bring your feet back together. Okay, we do that for 30 seconds. Last one is a box crawl. It's just crawling in a square. So knees off the ground. So it's just hands and toes. We move forward, we move sideways, we move backwards. And we're just moving in a square. We'll switch directions halfway through. Okay, so some big new movements today. Uh, any questions on those initially? I know there might be some later on, but. Okay. All right, so as we're rolling out here, let's, uh, let's work your way to lying down on the roller uh, with the roller along your spine. So it's gonna go straight down your back. You should be laying on top of it with the roller going all the way down your spine. All right, I just muted everybody. So if you got questions, you gotta unmute yourself to shout it out. If you don't have a roller, totally fine. You can do this without it. So we're just gonna reach up above your head into the letter Y and slide those elbows down into your back pockets. Try to keep your back from arching up. Just a big stretch. This is kind of the anti-push-up stretch. So if, you did, if you've done 
push-ups, you ever get sore in your chest muscles, this is kind of stretching that out. And good, okay. From there, let's roll off of the roller. So we're rolling off over onto your side, fingertips are gonna to go together. Open up like a book, try to get your chest to face the ceiling, keeping your knees stacked right up on top of each other. We're gonna go for uh, each side about 30 seconds here. So if you wanna go slow, go slow. If it feels good to stay open, go ahead and stay open. But we do want some movement uh, through your upper back. So do a few reps at least. 10 seconds left. And switch sides. Rolling over to the other side. Keeping those knees curled up, knees glued right to the top of each other. You're gonna go for about 30 seconds again, so make sure you do at least some reps, but then if it feels good to stay open, just keep yourself open. Ten more seconds. All right. Good. Let's roll over to all fours. Uh, so we're going to go one leg out to the side. One leg out to the side. We're getting a stretch on the inside of your leg here. The uh, that same hand, so whatever leg is out, that same hand, you're going to take your thumb, raise it up towards the ceiling with a straight arm, and then we're going to circle around and put the back of your hand on your low back. So we reach out and down. Okay, so as you raise your hand up towards the ceiling, we want your arm totally straight, raising as high as you can, then we reach around. Place the back of your hand on your low back. And we'll go through reps of that. Try to keep your shoulders square to the floor. So we raise straight up as high as you can. And then roll around. All right, let's switch sides. So your chest is going to stay square to the floor. Belly button faces down. Raising as high as you can. Then reaching back around, putting your hand on your low back. Ten more seconds. Okay. All right, so let's go uh, one leg up in front of you for a pigeon stretch. So we should be stretching the outside of your hip here. We stretch the inside of your hip. Now we're gonna stretch the outside. And let's go ahead and switch sides. Five more seconds here. And good. Let's come on to a push-up position. Bring one foot up next to your hand. Let's try to straighten that back leg. Your knee should be outside your armpit here. Shin straight up and down. And from here, let's straighten your, straighten your front leg. Again, sometimes uh, if, we, if you have a roller handy, you can put your hands on a roller just to prop your chest up a little bit more. But we're going for that straight leg up in front. Bend that front leg again. Take it back to a push-up position. We'll float that other foot up.
Really trying to drive your back leg straight. Reaching that back heel back. It won't touch the floor, but you're trying to get it to touch the floor behind you. And straighten your front leg. So now you should be getting a big stretch down the back of that front leg. Bend your front leg again. Take that foot back to a push-up position. Then five times, we're gonna walk your hands into your feet and back out. So we're just doing a stationary inchworm here. Starting to warm up your shoulders, getting your core warmed up. And good. All right, so to uh, just to get going here, we're gonna do some body weight lunges. Let's step forward and to the side. So we're gonna step forward and to the side. So these are the two lunges we're gonna to do today. You might be holding weight, you might not be, but we wanna warm up that movement. It's kind of half stretch and half work. Let's go to the other side. So we step forward, take that same foot, step out to the side. One more each. And good. Okay, so we should be good to go here. Um, just a reminder, on that movement. You can use a dumbbell, you can use a kettlebell, whatever you have. Uh, and remember the, the kettlebell is gonna be under you. Uh, if you get confused or if you don't like the feel of that kind of turning to the side, you could just sort of do a reverse lunge or it's almost like an SLDL, right? Where you, just, you can just step straight back and bring the weight up, that's totally fine. Um, and also, if you don't feel comfortable putting the weight to the floor, you can just kind of step back here, take the weight down a little bit, and then pull it up. Okay. Um, if you're using a, if you're using a dumbbell, hang that for a second. You won't be able to like lock it into your shoulder, but you can just pull it up here and have it rest on top of your shoulder. And then as you step forward, you're pressing up. Okay. So lots of big movements here today. We're going to go four times through the circuit and one minute on, 30 seconds off. Any questions before we get going? It's going to be a fun one. It's fun to do new stuff, especially at workout 84. Okay. All right. So the first one, we're going to go 30 seconds aside. I will call it out when to switch. So let's get ready to go in three, two, one. And here we go. Whatever foot steps out to the side, the hand, weight's going to be in that hand. Pull it up in one motion, and then step forward and press in one motion. Ten seconds left on this side. And switch sides. kind of like a lunge, like when you pick the weight up, it's sort of like a lunge that you just turned into. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest 30 seconds. So the next one, you're going to keep your feet glued to the ground this time. I might actually turn the kettlebell over. That may not work either. But you're pulling from the foot that's back. You're going to pull from that side. 
push up across and up. Okay. So you're here taking it across your body, pushing up to the top on that diagonal pattern. All right. And go. I'll call halfway. Make sure you're turning your body with it. You're turning your shoulders. Your feet will stay planted. 10 seconds left on this side. Three, two, one, switch it up. Taking that weight from your pocket all the way up and across. Ten seconds left. Rotate your shoulders with that. Three, two, one, and relax. So next one, as we're getting ready, if you're holding the weight in your right hand, you'll step to your left, push your hips back, point your chest at the floor, and pull up. And then we come back to standing. So again, we'll go 30 seconds each side. All right, three seconds, two, one, and here we go. You're gonna step away from the weight, push those hips back, then we row. So today is about combining a lot of different movements, using a lot of different muscles in coordination with each other. Five seconds left on this side. Two, one, switch sides. Usually on a lateral lunge, we say we want your chest up, but on this one, it's okay to push your hips back. So we want you to push your hips back, point your chest at the floor. Five seconds left. Two, one, and relax. Okay, next one, you can crawl whatever space you have. This works. Um, just going to take maybe one or two steps forward, one or two steps to the side, one or two steps back, and two steps the other way. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, here we go. Remember, you're, you're going to be on hands and toes here. Back should stay nice and flat. We want your knees close to the ground. Especially as we get later and later into this. You might find that your hips are creeping up towards the ceiling and switch directions. Still crawling, we're halfway there. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three. Two, one, relax. All right, 30 seconds. Back up to the top for that hero clean and press. Three more times. All right, that was round one. We've got three rounds to go. Remember on that hero clean, if you're not comfortable taking it all the way to the floor, you can just Kind of do a little tap like an SLBL, pull that weight up. All right, here we go. Lots to coordinate here. If overhead pressing doesn't work for you, just take out the press. 
All right, so you'll just do the forward lunge. Three seconds, two, one, switch sides. Fifteen seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Your diagonal press is next. Okay, 10 seconds left to rest. Remember that diagonal press. Whatever foot is back, you start low on that side. Rotate to high on the opposite side. All right, here we go. 30 seconds aside. Ten seconds left on this side. Two, one, switch sides. Use a little momentum, so get a good pull from this side and kind of guide the weight up and across your body. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, relax. Usually we would do that with like a plate, just so it's a little easier to control. So you're holding and pressing across. We actually do a stationary version at the gym, like with the plate chop and lift. So you're on a knee and the plate goes up and across. I figured not many people probably had weight plates at their home, so. Um, all right, lateral lunge and row is next. Step away from the weight. So if you're holding your left, step to your right. Here we go. Ten seconds left on this side. Three, two, one, other side, here we go. Ten seconds left. Two, one, relax. Okay, the box crawl is next. Try to go to start with the direction that you ended with. All right, starting in five, uh, five four, three, Two and one, here we go. So a good way to rest here is just to go to a push-up position if you need to. But otherwise, we're trying to keep that back nice and level. Like if you had some glasses of water on your back, you wouldn't spill them. Switching directions in five seconds. And change directions halfway through.
Five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, we're halfway there. Just two more rounds through. Yeah. All right. Hero clean. So remember, we're turning in, pulling that weight from the floor. And off we go. Starting 30 seconds each side. Remember, any part of this that doesn't work for you, just change it up. As long as general movement is there, we'll be doing all right. Five seconds. And switch sides. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and done. All right. Well, we only have to do with those one more time. Diagonal press is next. All right, three, two, one, here we go. Taking it from the, your foot that's back across to the foot that's front, in front. Start a little, give it a good pull. Like you were gonna try to throw this weight up and over a wall. Five seconds left on this side. And switch. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Relax. Lateral lunge with the row is next. How's everybody doing? Are we okay with these? I see hands on knees. That's that's good. All right. Ten seconds. Lateral lunge and row. Remember, unlike a regular lateral lunge, you are going to fold at your hips and let that chest face the floor. All right, off we go, 30 seconds aside. Weight doesn't necessarily have to touch the floor here. Three seconds, two, one, switch sides. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Relax. Crawl is next. I just want to comment. The crawl is the hardest, and I don't know if it's just because legs are tired at that point, but... 100%. Yeah. It is. It's because uh, legs are tired. You're breathing hard already, 
breathing and bracing don't usually mix. That's why it's such a challenge. So yes, it is the hardest, I agree. All right, off we go. Five seconds till we switch directions and change directions. Fifteen seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. All right, back up to the top for the fourth and final round. Thank you. How's your workout going, Coop? Good. Nothing like getting some hard work in in the morning, eh, Co Coop? All right, clean, lunge and press, last round. Ready, here we go. Three seconds, two, one, let's switch sides. Anything you got to work. Remember you're stepping forward with the hand that has the weight. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, relax. Diagonal press coming up next. So remember this, you might get tired in your shoulders here, but really we are making this a whole body movement. Okay, three, two, one, here we go. Like you're pulling that weight out of your pocket and handing it to somebody who's really tall. The challenge on this one depends on the weight that you're using. Obviously the heavier it is, the more challenging it is. Three seconds on this side, two, one, and switch. <laughs> 15 seconds left. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Two minutes of work left today, that's all. Lateral lunge and row. I actually really like that. I'm gonna do that more. Okay, and off we go, lateral lunge with the row. Up 
Five seconds left on this side. And switch sides. Twenty seconds left. Ten. Three, two, one, and relax. One minute left. Save the best for last. Crawling in a box. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Here we go, finishing strong today. Focus in on keeping those knees up under your hips, hands under your shoulders. Knees nice and close to the ground so that your back stays level and flat. Three seconds till we switch and switch directions. 30 seconds of work left. Five seconds. Three. Two, one, and relax. We did it. We did it. All right, so we're already on the floor. Let's just take a seat or lay down, depending on how tired you are. Sitting nice and tall, so whether you're seated or laying down, make sure you're sitting tall. There's kind of a interesting, uh, at, while we're getting our breath back here, read something yesterday. This, this position here, hands on knees, like braced, like tired, winded, getting your breath back. It's kind of, there's one study that shows it uh, is the most effective way to recover. So this standing position, but what's popular a lot of times is like, Coaches will say, put your hands up over your head or put your hands on your hips here like this to recover. Um, turns out this is probably physiologically better, but psychologically, if you, you know, if you're competing against someone and you don't want them to know you're tired, you know, standing up just with your hands on your hips kind of plays a little bit of a mental game with them. So if there's nobody around by all means, put your hands on your knees. You still get nice and long. So we always, we talk a lot about being long from your tailbone to the back of your head. You still get that nice long posture here and actually your abs can turn off a little bit. Um, so you can fill up with more air. Whereas if you're standing, your abs have to work to keep you up. So this is a totally acceptable recovery position. Most people know that instinctively. Uh, but let's go ahead and stand if you're not already. Again, just lowering that heart rate very consciously. Checking in with your posture, finishing nice and tall and strong. Let's take five more deep breaths. Okay. And that's a day. All right, what'd you guys think of that one? That was something new and different. It's fun to try new things. Yeah, that was really good. Okay, cool. I really liked the workout yesterday, Brian, so I was like, all right, I gotta do it again. Yes, love it, right back at it. Yeah, like I said in that Facebook, yesterday's workout is like, I was in my top five for sure of this whole uh, quarantine thing. 
So, uh, Ted, I ended up doing the same one in the evening as I did in the morning because I, I took Josie's class um, yesterday evening. So that was a good one. All right. You guys earned yourself a weekend. All right. Thanks so much. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Yes, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> you guys. All right, take care. Have a good weekend. You too.